guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be doing a small but brief fall walkthrough so basically what we're going to be doing is just going through all the different things that have been affected by the first frost of the season so this is going to be a pretty short video but it's going to be pretty cool and interesting so let's get straight into the video so for today's shout out we have ellie reed so make sure to subscribe to her channel her link is going to be in the description if you guys want a shout out make sure to comment down below and i will shout you out in the next video let's get straight into the video so right before we go to the koi pond, you can see here these really beautiful plants have been matted on the ground. They'll come out next spring and they have really pretty purple flowers. So I don't think I've shown this in a video yet, but I actually put the koi pond net on to protect it from all the leaves falling from the sky. So as you can see, it's very protected from the leaves. They are really happy in here because of the hot weather. They have not gone dormant yet. As you can see, the lily pad is the same way. This whole lily pad turns reddish and goes dormant for the winter time as well. So the koi are pretty active right now. We're still feeding them normal food. Um, right here we have our Japanese maple that is turning red. Right here we have the hostas. These really turn yellow. This used to be the walkthrough to the turtles and all those kind of things. Just overall, you can see how all the trees have just kind of gone bare. And right here by the turtles, they all have gone dormant except Aurora. She is still kind of outside of the dirt so this huge tomato plant completely fell down with the frost all these tomatoes just kind of died so all that is pretty down pat box room closure is closed pretty much for the winter time until spring so we're going to move on to the garden now so i'm not going to show too much of the garden because i'm going to be doing a the part two for the fall prep video that i was making last week so right here we have our Japanese snowball tree. These trees are really pretty. This tree has really gotten hard by the frost. Look at how that just crunches in my hand. That's crazy. There's a bunch of leaves everywhere now. Not pretty much happening over here. This tree really got affected by the frost. You can see the black tips of the leaves. That one really got affected. And then right here is the garden. These flowers were once so beautiful. I was showing them in the fall prep number one. So make sure to check out that video. All the tomatoes. I'm not gonna show the rest. You have to stay tuned for part two of the fall prep series. So right here outside of the garden, we have this Confederate rose plant. So if you guys can put in the comments down below, this plant is an evergreen or not, because we had two really good frosts, 26 degrees Fahrenheit, and this tree didn't seem too much affected. They're still blooming. I don't know if this is an evergreen or not. Please put it down in the comments below, because I'm still kind of confused on whether this is a evergreen or not. All right, guys, so that'll be pretty much it for the video. That was a pretty short video, I know, but I did this video for fun just to keep track of how the trees change. I really love how they change and the plants change as well throughout the fall and the winter time. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.